Humanity has always gone through cycles of ups and downs, victories and defeats, prosperity and crises. The year 2024 has become another severe test for most of humanity. This year has brought with it a whole bunch of global upheavals for many people, from natural disasters to economic and social problems. One particular verse from the Holy Quran is becoming particularly relevant in our time, allowing us to comprehend the cycle of trials that befell humanity in 2024. And if you pay attention to the Quran and the words of the Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, you will find a lot of very interesting things. By the way, what we have read many, many times, but it is very, very surprising that despite the fact that this verse was revealed more than 1400 years ago, it is still applicable to everyone and at all times. Let us read this amazing verse so that you can pay attention to its meaning. In the longest surah of the Qur'an, namely, in the second surah Al-Baqarah, Kao, in the 155th verse, Allah says, Indeed we, God the Lord, will test you. The Supreme Lord will always test the human race. And as we will mention further, dear viewers, about what Allah says, great and holy is He, then pay attention to each category that Allah lists. Allah says, Indeed we, God the Lord, will test you with a fraction of fear. Everyone feels a sense of fear, some more than others, some less. The Lord will expose the human race to a certain degree of fear, anxiety, and anxiety. Fear, anxiety, and anxiety occur for different reasons. This test of fear can manifest itself through fears of diseases, whether severe illnesses or epidemics, where a person feels great concern for his health or for the health of loved ones. It can be expressed in the fear of material losses and poverty, when a person fears the loss of livelihood, work and income. People are often forced to live under constant threat of conflict, natural disasters and violence in some regions of our planet. Natural disasters, earthquakes, floods and droughts are also a source of fear because they can destroy homes and cause damage and sometimes even lead to human losses. Even the general feeling of anxiety and anxiety about the future, uncertainty about tomorrow acts as a kind of test. Experiencing a share of fear in his life, a person is tested for patience, humility, trust in the Lord and sincerity of faith. This verse continues, Allah says, Indeed, we, God the Lord, will test you with a share of fear, with hunger. Hunger is a severe ordeal that the Lord puts some people through. Hunger teaches us to appreciate even small things and awakens gratitude to the Almighty for His gifts. The Holy Quran says, Allah God the Lord increases or limits the lot of whomever He wills. In different parts of the world, we see contrasting pictures. In some countries, they suffer from food shortages to the point that people may starve, while others languish from overweight, gluttony and obesity. At the same time, the expression, the richer the country, the more overweight people there are, is not always true. Take, for example, rich countries such as South Korea and Japan. These countries serve as a good example of countries with very high income levels. But at the same time, these countries have one of the lowest percentages of people in terms of overweight. And moreover, these countries occupy leading positions among countries in terms of average IQ level. Koreans and Japanese are really very smart and we all have a lot to learn from them. In addition, Japan and South Korea also occupy leading positions in terms of life expectancy. Think about it. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, Never has a man filled a vessel worse than his own womb. It is enough for the son of Adam, a few pieces of food, thanks to which he will be able to straighten his back, that is, maintain his strength. And if it is inevitable for him to eat more, let a third of his stomach will be. For eating, a third for drinking, and another third for ease of breathing. But it makes you think. The Messenger of Allah, blessings and peace be upon him, said, Truly among the things that I fear for you after my death are your bellies, overweight and obese, your genitals and misleading passions. This verse continues, Allah says, Indeed, we, God the Lord, will test you with a share of fear, hunger, losses in goods, property. God also tests people with losses and loss of property. This can manifest itself in various forms, from business ruin and bankruptcy to loss of property due to natural disasters or other accidents. But do not worry, dear viewers, all this, this is a test from the Lord, and each of us will be able to overcome it all with the permission of the Lord.
In the continuation of the verse, Allah says, Indeed, we, God the Lord, will test you with a share of fear, hunger, loss of goods, property, loss of life, of those who are dear. One of the most difficult trials that the Lord puts people through is the loss of loved ones. The death of parents, children, spouses, or other relatives causes a person deep sorrow and pain of loss. It is a reminder of the frailty of life in this world and that we will all return to the Lord one day. In the Holy Quran, Allah says, Every soul will taste death, but only on the day of resurrection will you receive your payment in full. No one is protected from the loss of loved ones. Even the prophets and the righteous experienced this grief. But it is in such difficult moments that a person's true faith manifests itself. For this test is great, but the reward of the Lord for perseverance is even greater. The loss of loved ones reminds us that true happiness lies in the contentment of the Lord and gaining His mercy in the hereafter through the development of science, progress and good deeds. Accepting the loss with patience and trust in the Lord, a person becomes a strong spirit, for only the Lord is eternal, and to Him we will all return. In the continuation of the verse, Allah says, Truly we, God the Lord, will test you with a share of fear, hunger, loss of goods, property, loss of life, of those who are dear, loss of fruits, labor. The Lord also tests people with the loss of fruits or labors. This can manifest itself in various areas of human activity, whether it is a crop failure for a farmer, losses for a merchant, or the failure of an important project for an entrepreneur. All the efforts invested in the case can result in heavy losses and disappointments. In such situations, it is easy to succumb to despair and despondency. After all, the fruits of labor are what a person had high hopes for, invested his strength and resources in. However, for a person, this test serves as a reminder. Allah says in the Quran, It is he who gives life and takes it, and you will all be returned to him. The loss of the fruits of labor is an opportunity to show humility and strengthen trust in the Lord. Overcoming this test with fortitude and faith in the Lord, a person spiritually rises and cleanses his heart, because the true reward awaits patient people in the last eternal life. Remember, dear viewers, all people are brothers and sisters. We all have one ancestor, Adam. Yes, people have different nationalities, skin color, languages, religions, faiths, cultures, but people should be like a single organism. We should help each other. The strong should help the weak. All people should help each other. And you probably think this is the end of the verse, but no. Listen to what Allah says. Great and holy is He. Truly we, God the Lord, will test you with a share of fear, hunger, loss of goods, property, loss of life, of those who are dear, loss of fruits, labor. You tell the good news to all those. And so what is this category of people to whom the good news is addressed? Allah describes these people by saying, you tell the good news to all those who endure troubles with fortitude, to all those who say in moments of grief, truly we belong to Allah, God the Lord, and we will return to Him. Then Allah Almighty says, describing these people, they are all those on whom the blessing and mercy of the Lord will descend, and He will guide them on a righteous path. We ask the Lord, great and holy, that He help all people and guide all people on the right path. We also ask for His help and protection. May the mercy of the Lord always be upon us and upon you, dear viewers. God bless you all.